Thank you for the opportunity to speak to you in the lead up to the Australia-China Youth Dialogue. I've spent much of my working life here in Asia, and it's not just a job for me. Asia has been a passion since I first arrived in Hong Kong in the 1970s. I've also been privileged to lead two great banks in the region, HSBC and for the past five years, ANZ, where we're creating something quite special based on a vision of becoming the best connected and most respected bank in the region. China is a significant part of our strategy. We are one of Australia's largest investors in China, having operated there since 1986, and we locally incorporated in 2010. We now have around 700 staff across seven locations, including an operations hub in Chengdu. And we are the only Australian bank to be fully licensed for products and services in local and foreign currency. When I first worked in Australia in the late 1980s, Australia's then Prime Minister, Bob Hawke, said that for the country to succeed, it needed to be prepared to enmesh itself with the dynamism of our region, the Asia-Pacific region. What followed was a genuine focus on building policies that would make the most of the opportunities arising from economic growth and rising living standards in Asia, especially in China. Today, China is Australia's largest trading partner, our largest export market, our largest source of fee-paying students and of tourists, and one of its largest sources of direct foreign investment. Given the massive economic dependency Australia has on China, it's clear from recent events that a more sustained effort has to be put into framing the relationship properly. To achieve this, I believe there needs to be increased and sustained dialogue and engagement across all levels of society. An organisation like the Australia-China Youth Dialogue plays an important role in making that happen. And I applaud the initiatives that our young leaders have taken to develop China-Australia relations by bringing together key people from both sides to forge deeper understanding and connections for the future. Our partnership of the 2012 Dialogue reflects the importance we place on developing that dialogue and I wish you all the very best with this year's event.